So we bought this pop-up new a couple years ago. It's a 2019 2280 BHESP. This video is about a problem I just had with the furnace. It worked last day of winter before I put it into storage. And then in spring, it just wasn't working. Couldn't figure it out. So this is uh, the process I went through. I'm hopeful that it could help somebody else diagnose their furnace problem. So some of you will recognize this. It's the furnace out of my Rockwood pop-up camper. It stopped working. So I thought I tested it pretty good internally. I wasn't getting good results and I couldn't reach all this stuff. So I pulled it out entirely. I cut the wires, yanked it out, brought it in here and set it up. And now I'm doing some, you know, voltage testing. I got it plugged into a 12 volt battery. The red wire coming out of this is power. The yellow is ground. In the blues, the stripe and the solid, that's your thermostat wire. So if you just put these together, guess what? It's like telling the thermostat to turn on. So I'm gonna put this on power over here. So now we got full juice over here. And, I'm, and I've got my thermostat on power and I tested all these circuits and they're all powered up fan comes on wouldn't even do that before so let's unplug it so now i'm 99 percent sure it's my thermostat at least i think so so i'm going to bring it back out to the pop-up and test my thermostat you know it was clicking when i turned it on so i thought it's got to be working it works there's nothing wrong with this unit it's dark in here Testing ohms. See what we got. Do we have continuity? I got nothing. Not even nothing. I... I found the problem. There's a wire completely disconnected in here. It's just hanging free. Furnace is fine, thermostat's fine, wire disconnected. Wow, what a stupid thing. Do you see? <laughs> this wire is completely disconnected from that switch. Wow. So if I connect that, it'll have power. All right, this is great news actually, because reattaching a wire is cheap. <laughs> So I had disassembled it last year. Reassembled it, tested it, everything worked just fine. I don't know how it got pulled or tugged or disconnected, but it did. I'm sure it was my fault somehow. So I'm just gonna reassemble this and get everything back together and then test it and hopefully it just turns on. Remember, there's an on-off switch here. Don't forget that, it's important. So this can only go on one way. There's a port right here where all the wires come out and the wires are right here. couple of sheet metal screws up here in the top. That's all that holds this whole thing on. One right here. And one up top right here. That's it. Those two screws and this whole thing slides out. That's all it needs. Whew. All right. Sorry I didn't start recording this earlier. I didn't know it was gonna go this far. And then I thought maybe this process would help someone else. I opened this uh, little clip back up so I could reclamp it. Fresh wire. I even brought some black tape. I'm gonna secure it after I crimp it. All right, smashy. All right, I smashed it. I'm just gonna smash it the once. I'm not gonna smash it again. I'm gonna put a little extra taper on the base just to keep it from sliding out, just in case it's a little loose. Ta-da! Ah, amazing, what a discovery. Insane. All right, I'm gonna put this back in. I'm sure everything's gonna work just fine. Just be careful with this casing. 
the edges are really sharp. It'll gouge your floor, cabinets, everything. It's, it's a mess. It's cheap, jagged, sharp metal. All right, we're gonna clean these up too. Get rid of my old fix. Green goes to red. Power. That's good. Yellow. And then thermostat, power stuff goes here. It's funny that this is the kill switch for the thermostat. So this furnace won't run when you shut everything down. Safety switch. I took a picture of everything before I took it apart. All right, striped blue goes to solid brown. And then there's a brown one with a bunch of little like writing on it. It goes to the solid blue. Wire nuts are nice, so fast. All wires accounted for. I'm gonna put tape on this one because I got a little wire exposed, just to be safe. I like that, feel good about that. Fuse is good. All right. When you take this thing in and out, by the way, the propane line comes out. Like you have some room to pull it out with you. So you keep it in the hole until you get it out. Then you pull it out of the way and the whole thing comes out. Wires get tucked back in carefully, gently, lovingly. And then the lining it up, there's exhaust vents back there. I just wiggle it until they go. It's fine, don't come in here. There it goes. Started. Oh, can I get the line on? Oh yeah. There it goes. <laughs> line on. Woo, look at that. Oh yes. Now we get some propane on. Maybe. Got to make sure it's square and square. You don't want to cross thread it. Oh, I feel like I got it. I did, I got it. Hooray. And then there's a couple of holes down on the bottom here. It doesn't push flush. There's a couple of holes down here and here that you line those up and that's where you stop. You don't need to push it back any further. Speed wrench. That's tight. That's tight. Let's give it a test, shall we? I'm gonna throw the power on. Let's see if it comes on. We have power. Will it come on? Let's find out. No. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> we have a heater once again. Oh, it never ends. My fault though, I'm sure. Oh, uh, look, we got flame. Can you see the flame? That's so good. All right, this project is complete. I'm gonna shut it back off, screw it down, put the cover back on. We have heat again. Man, I am getting to know this camper so well. I'm just glad it wasn't like the little circuit board or anything because I would have had to wait for parts. Who knows if parts are available? I'm so thankful that was just what it was. I never thought of looking up at that wire spot. Now I know. And now I know that emergency switch is connected directly to this furnace. Woo! God bless you. Thanks for watching. Hope this is a help to somebody. <laughs> See you next video.